All right, y'all. I'm sure you probably have heard of this story. If not, we're talking about it today. Uh, this woman was arrested trying to evict squatters from her own million-dollar house in New York, dude. That is jacked up. I want to give you my take on it. And honestly, I think my take is really going to surprise a lot of you people. I'm not going to be swinging as far right as you might expect, and I'll tell you why. <laughs> All right, y'all, today uh, we're going to be going over my take on this story, dude. And this story is fucked up, bro. This story sucks, man. I really feel for this chick. Uh, Adele, uh, Adele Andalaro. All right, this chick right here. Uh, shit, man. This sucks, okay? This really sucks. But she made a lot of mistakes, and... The solution to this problem that I think makes the most sense is probably not what you guys are going to expect me to say, right? I got the fucking hat on. You could only assume. I'll be like, fuck these squatters. She should be allowed to fucking beat them with a bat. She shouldn't have got arrested, blah, 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 right? Yes and no, right? So just so we're all on the same page, this is what happened. Uh, she had a house in Queens, New York, y'all, like a million-dollar house. And this ain't even a rental property either, right? So when you own rental properties, right, that's what I do, right? I own th got thousands of tenants out there, okay? That's what I do, guys. When we own rental properties, we know the rules of the game. We signed up to play the game. One of the rules of the game is anytime you have to evict somebody, you have to go through the eviction process, the court uh, you know, the court approved eviction process. It's lengthy depending on what market, what city you're in. It can vary, right? You know, for folks that are in super liberal hell holes like New York or anywhere in California, that dirty fucking shithole Portland, right? It's very, very long. Uh, and if you're in like red locations, right? Like a, a lot of my stuff's in Ohio, right? Uh, it's shorter, but it still takes time, costs money, right? So you get landlords who want to just do it themselves, right? Go the DIY route. And sometimes going the DIY route ain't smart, right? Evictions is definitely one of those because it's always going to be illegal to go the DIY route, okay? So if you're a traditional landlord, you signed up to play that game. As landlords, we make millions of dollars, dude. We get filthy rich being landlords, okay? So I'm not asking anybody to feel bad for us landlords. Uh, those are the rules. We know those are the rules, and uh, we're playing the game accordingly. But what really sucks for this Adele lady is she is not a landlord, dude. She didn't sign up to play that game, right? It's like when you're, you, you know, you're a, you see a famous athlete and they're out there and then people are talking smack about their personal lives. And everyone's like, who gives a shit, bro? He signed up for it. He's rich. He's famous. You know, his business is our business now. That's the, that's the rules of the game. Okay, fine. Fair. But this poor woman did not actually sign up to play the game. Not a landlord. She's just trying to sell her family home, dude. So it's empty because she's trying to sell it. And then these fucking pieces of shit, these piece of shit squatters just fucking came to her house one day when nobody was there, changed the front door, changed the locks, and just fucking moved in, bro. They just started living there illegally, okay? So when she figured this out, and this is where she went way wrong, okay? I, I think I have a solution to how this should transpire that makes sense. And I'm going to try to be as open as I possibly can, despite my obvious leanings, given my career in, in political leanings. But check this, right? So she goes, she takes her daughter. And by the way, this is fucking dumb. Don't do this. This is dumb. This is dumb up for a lot of reasons. Honestly, getting arrested sucked. Sucks a lot of dick, dude. I mean, it's like... Kim Kardashian and a group full of rappers. There's a lot of dick going to get sucked, okay? But that was, like, the least of her problems. She could have easily got killed, right? So what she does is, uh, and got her kid killed, right? So she goes, um, she sees somebody, like, go into the house, one of these piece of shit squatters. So she, like, claims that she follows them in, and she had, like, her daughter and a locksmith there, and then she confronts these people, like, yo, why are you in my fucking house? Get out of my house, blah, 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 blah. And then she's got her locksmith, like, changing the locks while she's trying to argue with these people. Totally understand where she's coming from, uh, but she panicked and, and made a bad decision, right? So when she did that, the, the squatters, even though they're huge pieces of shit, uh, 
you know, they called the police and the police came and they arrested this woman uh, for an illegal eviction. OK, now getting arrested for an illegal eviction because somebody stole your goddamn house. That's terrible, dude. I feel for her. That is horrible. Uh, that, that that on the surface sounds like something that liberals are doing to fucking ruin our country. Okay, they do a lot of shit to ruin our country. Something kind of like this sounds like one of those, right? Uh, but her getting arrested, not even the worst case scenario, dude. Uh, you guys watch what we do here on Holton Wise TV. We're always talking about all kinds of crazy landlord tenant stories, dude. We have covered many stories about landlords and tenants killing each other, right? Uh, that's a great way to get hurt, okay? First of all, these, <laughs> these people are so unhinged and have nothing to lose that they actually went in and stole your house and started living there, right? So you should assume these people by nature are dangerous, right? These are desperate, dangerous people. So you should absolutely not be putting yourself in that position, putting your daughter in that position. So that was dumb on her. So uh, she shouldn't have done that, right? She's lucky she didn't get hurt by these fucking idiots, okay? But here's the thing. And then, you know, this made the rounds, you know, went viral, news topics, you know, news companies, right? People that are not even in the real estate business are picking up this story because on the surface, it's so fucked up, right? Like, dude, she owns this house. She's not even trying to rent it like a, uh, a landlord. They just steal the fucking house from her and the cops arrest her for an illegal eviction and say there's nothing that they could do for her. And if she really does own the house, she's got to prove it in court through the eviction process, right? Now, this is the part where I assume most of you would assume I'd be like, that is so fucked up. You should be able to just have the cops remove them right then and there. I don't actually believe that, though. Okay? In theory, that makes sense. In theory, if I got a house and I go to the store and you came and stole my house and started living in my house, I should be able to fucking call the police and remove you, right? Well, that's not exactly what happened. So they started living there. And it's not as cut and dry as that. Like, they're actually living there. The one guy's claiming he had a lease and he signed a contract with a realtor. Some other dude was, like, sleeping. So they've been in the house for a little while, right? Like, New York has, like, squatters' rights and stuff. So, like, you know, people are in there. You have to be able to prove that they, they, they commandeered your property, essentially, right? And to an extent, I could, I could understand that, right? Because you got to understand, guys. The slippery slope, like, if you don't go to court and prove whose house it is, right, like, the cops are not uh, the judge. They're not the jury, right? They can't just legislate right there out in the field. You would go the other way, and you'd run into situations where, like, people would take advantage of this situation the other way and uh like illegal evictions would occur and like people who actually own their houses like you, you know people could get manipulated and like you know cops would be put in the middle like removing lawful tenants or property owners right so it makes sense that you would have to prove it right because from the cops perspective you're a cop, right? Think about it. You're a cop, and you're a cop in New York, so <laughs> salute to you. That's already a tough fucking job. Uh, you're standing there, and on one hand, you got this chick, her kid, her locksmith, and they got their deed and shit, and they're like, this is my motherfucking house. This is my house, right? And then on the other hand, you got the tenants, well, squatters, but they're claiming they're tenants, and they're like, no, dude, what are you talking about? I'm the tenant. I'm leasing this house. I have my paperwork, but I don't have it on, on hand right now, but I got my paperwork, right? And, and, like, they've been there for a few days, so it's, like, you know, lived in. It's, like, their stuff, right? So, uh, you know, it's tough for the cop right then and there to be able to make uh, that determination, right? We already see the microscope in which those those guys are working under, right? So I could see the logic behind the cops not being able to – uh, determine who's correct, who's incorrect in that particular s situation. I could see how that is really not a plausible way to legislate something like this. However, this is where I go different from what the fucking piece of shit liberals are doing. Because this is a fucking problem. The fact that some fucking piece of garbage could come in and steal your fucking house and then you got to pay all this money through the court system 
to get your house back. And, you know, it could take months upon months while they stole, stole your home. That can't happen. That's fucked up. That cannot happen in America. You cannot have people doing that to people, right? So if I don't think that she should be allowed to just come in and have the cop, you know, I can understand why the cop can't just evict those those scummy squatters right then and there, but I also don't think that this could happen. What is my idea? What's my solution, right? This is what should happen, right? Because there's good and there's bad to both situations, and both scenarios allow somebody to be egregiously taken advantage of, right? In the liberal world, this woman, this poor homeowner, she gets taken advantage of. Not only is she being victified by uh, the squatters who stole her fucking house, she got victified, uh, victimized again by the police because she got fucking arrested. But again, that was her fault. She was really doing something dangerous anyway. Okay, so she got fucked twice, okay? Can't have that happen, right? But the liberal way allows these fucking piece of shit squatters to pretty much get away with it because they're going to get to live there for several months. And then after that, uh, she'll go. She'll prove that she's the owner. She'll win. And they'll be evicted. And they'll just move on probably to fucking ruin someone else's life. And these just pieces of garbage, you know, they're homeless, so they don't own anything. There's really nothing she could do. Like, what's she going to do? Sue them? You know, that's thousands and thousands of dollars, time and money, and they own nothing. So, like, is she ever really going to collect? No, probably not, right? So, essentially, they're able to victimize her, live there for quite a while, and then they'll basically get off scot-free. That ain't right. We can't have that. But, again, I understand the cop not being able to determine who's right, who's wrong in that scenario. So what we need to do, what would make the most sense is in this particular situation, fine. The police officers cannot determine it. It's a landlord-tenant issue now. Fine. She has to go to court and prove it. But what needs to happen is when she goes to court, if she can prove that those people were not even tenants, that they literally broke into her home, stole her home, let the courts decide. If she can prove that, not only should she win everything she would normally win uh, including the writ of restitution to get her property back civilly, she should also, somehow this should also be worked out where criminal penalties are now uh, charged against these squatters, and they should all be charged with grand theft, and these motherfuckers need to do jail time, okay? That's how this needs to go, because the way the liberals are doing it right now, there is literally... No real measurable consequences for these people. They could steal a home, ruin someone's life, live there for free for months on end, and then when the woman proves it, she wins. Nothing bad happens to them. They move down the road. So we can't have that. So we need a stopgap to prevent this, right? Because when you do jail, when we give people criminal punishment, guys, part of why we do that as a society, as a country is to, yeah, you have to punish the crime, yes, but you also need to deter future crime, right? So the way the liberals are doing it, there's no deterrent for those squatters, okay? So we need to have them be deterred. We need them to be deterred in the future, right? So if you're a squatter and you know you can get away with this, there's no reason you're not going to do it to the next poor bastard, okay? But if you're going to get fucking 10 years in jail, you're probably not going to do it. It's not worth living in someone's house for six months and then you go to jail for 10 years, right? We'll put you in jail for 10 years if you rob a bank. If you brought a gun to this woman's face and took all of her money, we'll put you in jail for 10 years. Why won't we put you in jail for 10 years for stealing her house? So that's what we need to do. I'm fine with the cops not being able to legislate it right there on the call. Their job is hard enough. We need to find the evidence because, again, it could swing the other way. We will get people... Uh, who try to steal other people's homes the other way, right? You know, it could literally go the other way. If we go too far right on this, right? Like, she could be living in her own house, right? Just chilling on the couch one day, and the same squatters could have drafted a fake deed, and they could break into the house, and then she goes to call the cops, right? And they're, 
and they're like, oh, no, look, this is my house. She just stole my house, and we got the we got the deed right here, Mr. Police Officer. And she's just sitting on her couch watching fucking TV. She doesn't have the deed to her house just chilling, right? Like, I got freaking all these houses. I, I don't just have the deed in, like, a folder next to my fucking TV, right? So if we went that way, she would get, she would get evicted again, get arrested again, right? So we can't do that. The idea that the court has to determine who's right, who's wrong. Makes sense, guys. But we need to be putting the thieves in jail afterwards. And that is the logical American way to solve this particular problem. Sound off in the comments. Let me know what you think. Does my idea make sense or am I off my fucking rocker? Are you some crazy liberal who fucking thinks the current way New York does it is good? Like, let me know. What do you guys think? But I think the solution that I just laid out is the only thing that makes sense in an otherwise terrible situation. But my solution, in my opinion, is going to reduce the frequency of these issues so much so that it'll eventually become a non-issue. Because I don't think people are risking like 10 years in jail for this shit. Let me know. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.